American Family News. I'm Mr. Key. Republicans in the South Carolina state legislature agree to alter a bill banning abortion outright in order to get the bill to pass. Evan Brown with more. A bill in South Carolina's legislature that could ban all abortions originally had no exceptions for rape or incest. The bill failed in its first vote in South Carolina's State House of Representatives Tuesday, but it was quickly rewritten to include such exceptions. The bill then passed the House nearly two to one. The same bill will next be voted on by the South Carolina State Senate. Governor Henry McMaster has not yet said if he'd sign it. An earlier six-week ban was made law in South Carolina, but it's been put on hold by a judge as people are suing over it. Evan Brown, Fox News. Jackson, Mississippi is in the throes of a full-blown water crisis. The city's water treatment system was shut down due to mechanical trouble and flooding. What's coming out of the pipes now is so bad that the mayor warns, don't even brush your teeth with it. At Brent's Drugs, a drugstore soda fountain spot in Jackson, General Manager Sarah Friedler says the lack of water is costing her business money. We have to outsource all of our drinks, um, which is very expensive for the business. Governor Tate Reeves says they're working to truck water in as well as rent out a water treatment system to get some partial relief into the city. The rhetoric being used by Democrats, including the president and the mainstream media, is angry and inflammatory. And a political pundit says it may not end well. Steve Jordahl with more. Gone are the days when Republicans are stingy, pro-war, and prudish. It was quaint and even embraced by some in the GOP when Hillary called them a basket of deplorables and Barack talked about them clinging to their guns and religion. Now, to hear the mainstream media tell it, Republicans are nothing short of Hitler. That MAGA symbol has come to represent something. It is the new Nazi symbol. They're a dime store front for a terrorist movement. There are elements of the GOP that are starting to look like the jihadists. They're a white nationalist movement. They're a fascist threat to our nation. And it's all about Donald Trump. President Biden, who ran on a unity message, sneers when he talks about ultra MAGA and calls Trump supporters semi-fascist. Gary Bauer of American Values says the dangerous rhetoric is a dog whistle meant to enrage Republicans to the point where they lash out and Democrats can claim another January 6th. But if the GOP doesn't take the bait, he fears the violence will come from the left anyway. If you believe that uh, quasi-Nazis are getting ready to take over America, what would you do if that was true? There'd be nothing off the table. After all, he says, Democrats already have a wing of their base that's been violently attacking what they consider fascists since 2016. It's even in the name, Antifa. But Bauer says, as usual, what the Democrats accuse the MAGA crowd of is exactly what they themselves are doing. Which side wants to take away your right to defend your family with a firearm? Which side closed our churches and used COVID as the excuse, but demanded that abortion clinics stay open? I'm Steve Jordahl. Toyota is adding jobs and investing in electric vehicle production in the U.S. Jenny Casola reports. Toyota is adding jobs and investing more money into its North Carolina battery manufacturing plant. Crews have started work on the 1,800-acre Toyota site near Liberty, North Carolina. The additional $2.5 billion commitment includes 350 jobs, bringing the total to about 2,100. The automaker says the electric vehicle battery plant will serve a central role in Toyota's leadership toward a fully electrified future and will help the company meet its goal of carbon neutrality by 2035. Ginny Cosola, Fox News. And finally, Ford is recalling more than 277,000 pickup trucks and cars in the U.S. because the rear view camera lens can get cloudy and reduce visibility for the driver. The recall covers certain F-250, 350, and 450 trucks, as well as the Lincoln Continental. More news online at AFN.net and on the AFN mobile app. I'm Rusty Pugh.
from New Franklin, Missouri, and you're listening to KNVBC Revival Radio. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How He gave His life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood's atoning. Then I of my sin and won the victory oh victory in Jesus my Savior forever he sought me Love. 